What's up, human? Click that subscribe button. In 2015, a great film came out called Straight Outta Compton, based on the real-life rap group, the legendary rap group, the iconic and influential rap group, NWA. Niggas with Attitude, for those of you that don't know. And who I have on screen here is the main cast, the actors who played NWA. And they all did a fantastic job. The movie made more than $200 million at the box office with an R rating. And it was number one three weeks in a row when it came out. Talk about impressive. Shit, humans was out there shook. They increased the security at the various movie theaters just to make sure there were no acts of violence. To make sure that humans didn't get crazy as fuck. Because this was a big deal. Huge deal. You know, this is something where when I was a kid, oh man, when they gonna do something with NWA, when they gonna make a movie or something, man, we probably ain't gonna never see that shit or it's gonna take many years for that shit to come out. Seeing transition, it took many years after I graduated from high school because I graduated in 07. The movie came out 2015. I grew up listening to NWA. I grew up listening to a lot of rap. You know, back when rap was good. You know, like how nowadays, for the most part, rap is fucking garbage. You got like these individuals with no fucking talent that this new generation hypes up. And then sometimes the old generation hypes them up, too, because they ain't got nothing to eat. So they'll just eat anything. They'll take trash and call that shit gold. It's a disgusting disease. But your boy Terrence don't suffer from that shit. So sure, nowadays you got some skilled rappers. But for the most part, they fucking garbage. And they don't compare to the old school rappers who, sh who set all this shit up when you think about it. If you have not seen Straight Outta Compton, I would suggest you check that shit out. It's one of the better biopics when it comes to artists, when it comes to groups, musicians. Because there are a lot of biopics on artists and musicians, right? And a lot of them are fucking garbage. But this is definitely one of the top tier ones. Sure, they messed with some of the events a little bit, tweak some of the events a little bit, but there is a lot of truth. You know, sometimes you tweak things just for entertainment, but you have to make sure to have the truth in there somewhere. Plus, you had Ice Cube and Dr. Dre like really supporting the movie. You know, they were behind it. And that's good enough for me. Terrence out.